Hello and welcome to part three of the Shopify series videos tutorials. Um, this video, uh, I'm gonna go over about security, and I think I missed this step on part two. So I think it's very important to check or verify that request. According to Shopify, uh, the first step is to verify that the request is indeed coming from Shopify and they tell you what to do here <clears throat> so that's what this video is about how we can confirm that it's actually from Shopify so if you go to your AMP uh, settings as you can see down here under the history uh, that's where in, on the first video I was installing the application and then I took it off on the store so if you already installed it, you can delete it and do the whole thing all over again. So I'm here on the store and as you can see, it's already installed, but I want to delete it so I can repeat the whole process again. So I'm going to delete. And okay, we're back to zero. And now <clears throat> I'm going to go to the publisher link site. And I'm going to click get. And something went wrong, failed to complete tunnel. Let's see if this one running. It's not running. So I need to start my Visual Studio. And try again. So I'm going to go back. Oh, this one's starting up. I'm going to go back to the link. And. This one is ready and I'm going to install it again. So it's going to go back to install and the same process. But as you can see on this time, I have this function or method called is authenticated request. <clears throat> and it takes two uh, values, a name value collection, query string, and your Shopify key. So as you can see here, using MVC, we're going to say request that query string. So we're going to pass the entire string, uh, URL string, query string, to that method in our secret key. So your secret key is going to be different from this demo. And here's the method that I'm going to be posting on GitHub so you can get it. I think I got it from somebody, but I don't remember exactly where I got it from, but I will keep looking for it. But Here's the function, the method. Here, as you can see, it's checking for the HMAC uh, value. If it's not there, it would just return false. And it does a lot of things down here. As you can see yourself, uh, replacing values, uh, uh, or it's sorting that thing, order, order by keys, and so on and so on. And then it compares. If it's equal, then it will return true. So go back here. So now you add this when the authentication comes back. And then it's going to confirm if it's from Shopify or not. And then if it is, then we can continue and say, OK, uh, here's my secret key, uh, my API key, and I want a token. So uh, this is to prevent from somebody just making a uh, false uh, request to your web application. And all they're going to do is just steal your API key and your secret key. So it's very dangerous. So it's good to know this part. Don't skip it. And we're going to try it right now. So I'm going to install it again. Same thing all over again. And I'm going to stop here. If you if I've, see the breakpoint, the if statement or the method work. So that means that the authentication is from Shopify. And then we can continue on to our normal process. So make sure you add this to your project. This code, uh, well, in my case, it starts from line 65. 
all the way down to 101 so I'm gonna copy and paste this into github so you can copy it into your project and make sure that don't post uh, to get a, a token unless it returns true uh, over here if it's false you can return you can do any just return and don't do anything but on the next video I'm gonna add this step that we're missing here we need to save it into SQL so as you can see here I have my local express edition and we're gonna add a database on the next video but make sure you add that don't forget that it's authenticated request